Hey, what's going on guys? George here today. I thought I'd actually post for once in a blue moon. Um, and today I thought I'd talk uh, mainly about uh, the new Call of Duty, uh, as well as a few other games that I've been playing over the last uh, couple of months or so. Because uh, mainly I've been posting uh, VODs of live streams where I was testing out uh, the YouTube gaming. That was really fun to do, but I didn't want to post any like specifically YouTube made Counter Strike videos because even though I like to post games that I actually enjoy and enjoy you know making, I didn't feel like editing CS:GO videos because that's going through 40 minutes worth of a game just to cut out about three quarters of it, which I know I just feel it's kind of silly to actually do and a waste of my time, whereas I could play Call of Duty, but um, I only like, you know, to post uh, games that I enjoy, and before this, wasn't really enjoying any of the Call of Duty games, however, Black Ops 3 has actually changed that, I've been really enjoying it, I don't know if it's mainly because it's a new game, it might be, but uh, I've been really enjoying it, um, and today I thought I'd really, you know, talk about it, seeing as though I've had like a weekend to play it, as well as uh, the beta which went on over the summer. You've probably uh, seen gameplay of that, as well as seeing gameplay of this come out, you know, a couple of days early. But today I thought I'd give my opinion on it, and my opinion is it's a pretty solid game. Uh, it kind of mixes in, you know, the feeling of you know, the Black Ops franchise with loads of other, you know, stuff. Nothing really innovative or anything, just a pen, kind of its own spin on things. So, like, for example, the advanced movement, you know, taking from advanced warfare, um, the black market part, which is kind of like the supply drops, stuff like that. And it's, you know, really fun to see this combination of all these things. I don't think many people kind of appreciate that you know, even though um, Call of Duty is kind of taking from everything, especially like, for example, the specialist from Destiny, having it like combined into this game is kind of, you know, it's really cool to kind of see like the combination of everything. Um, but if there's, you know, one or two critiques that I could kind of make about it, uh, one is uh, the HUD. Uh, as you can see, it's kind of really cluttered and everything. And I would like it if you can kind of adjust it. And the other thing is the score streaks. Now, now this is kind of more specific to Call of Duty's uh, in the last like couple years. And uh, that's like the score streaks not really being a reward. Score streaks should be a reward, especially considering now you have the specialist, which I feel can sometimes be more powerful than some uh, score streaks. Even though a score streak is earned, where as especially a specialist is almost given to you so I would like to see score streaks do a little better uh, some score streaks are really good but they have like a really high price tag like the Wraith that you see here I managed to get it in a uh, care package and that thing went ham I think in this game it got nine kills which is better than you know most score streaks but it, if it wasn't for that care package I got that would take um, up to uh, 11 kills to get to the Wraith, which, I mean, yeah, for a score streak that did really well, it's kind of, you know, given that it's got a high, you know, price tag, but if you have a look at, like, the lower score streaks, even, like, the UAV, that's five kills now. I can remember a couple of years ago, it was only three, which, you know, I kind of see as imbalanced, in a sense, especially from a perspective of a um, TDM player. A lot of people kind of said this, um, they were saying it back in... Black Ops 2 and I feel like the issues kind of been worsened in a sense in Black Ops 3. Uh, there is just so much of a emphasis on um, objective based games which I've got nothing uh, wrong with when it comes to objective based games but I feel like you still should be rewarded in TDM especially when the only objective is to kill and you have to get so many kills to get a score streak which I kind of feel is unjust. Maybe they should make it so you get more points for a kill in TDM or not so many points for playing the objective in um, Domination and level it out by making it so there isn't as many points per kill in like Dominations or Search and Destroys. But there have actually been some other games that I've been playing over the summer. 
Uh, Rainbow Six Siege, that's been really good. I got to play the beta uh, three or four days early. I got to play it on the Monday when it was released on the Thursday. That was really fun to play because it's this kind of casual tactical game, uh, which it's a shame that are, there aren't as many casual tactical games. It's kind of like the extremes. There's you know casual games and then there's tactical games, but there's no middle ground, whereas I feel like this feels it. As well, I got to play um, the Star Wars Battlefront beta. That was really fun. I actually got to play the alpha a couple of months earlier. Uh, not much has actually changed between the alpha and the beta, but that was really fun to play. It is a game that I'm thinking of picking up, along with like uh, Rainbow Six Siege and Fallout 4, even though I've been hearing a few negative things about Fallout 4, but I'm kind of hoping it will do well. But anyway, guys, hope you have enjoyed the video. I'm about to get killed, and somehow we managed to lose, even though I got 30 plus kills. Oh well, shit happens. Uh, hope you have enjoyed, and I will see you on the next video.